to say the least at the end between the Dallas Cowboys and the Detroit Lions. It had a little bit of all of the chaos on the night for Jimmy Johnson. He was inducted into the Ring of Honor. And everybody, thank you so much for watching the post-game press conferences for this game. This game was so extreme. We'll make sure you hear from Mike McCarthy and Dak Prescott from the Cowboys. Make sure you also hear from Dan Campbell and Jared Goff of the Detroit Lions. Final score, Dallas Cowboys win at home by the thinnest of margins by one point. A 20-19 final. This game was close all night long. It came down to the very end, the final play. Everybody, with about 23 seconds ago, Lions scored a touchdown to make it 20-19. to Dan Campbell elected to go for the two-point attempt to try to take the lead and get the win on the first attempt for Detroit. It appeared that they did get it. A trick play. Jared Goff completing the pass to the left tackle, Taylor Decker. But Detroit got called for an illegal touching penalty as the left tackle did not report as an eligible receiver to be able to catch the ball. So penalty there, wiped out the good conversion, moved Detroit back to the 7-yard line. Frankly, I was shocked they still went for two points there. Back from the 7 because they could have elected to kick the point after to tie the game. But they didn't. They went for 2 again. Second try unsuccessful. But Micah Parsons of Dallas was called for offside. So they got another chance of it from the 3.5 yard line. Third time was not a charm for Detroit. A bad throw by Jared Goff. Pass was incomplete. The 2 point play no good. Dallas held on to the lead. They recover the onside kick. They got the win 20 to 19. Dallas now 11 and 5 on the season. Detroit with a loss falling to 11 and 5. Pretty much everybody, pretty much the Lions, pretty much now locked into that number three seed in the NFC. Dallas still has a chance to win the division. They need Philadelphia to lose one game and for Dallas to win next week against the Washington Commanders on the two point play. We'll hear what Dan Campbell says, but it was not the ref's fault. It was not the ref's fault. It was an illegal formation. He didn't report as eligible, and that's a penalty, and it has to be called. Plain and simple. But talk about the main connection of the night, though. What a night for C.D. Lamb and Dak Prescott. C.D. Lamb set a Dallas Cowboys night game record with 227 receiving yards tonight. He also broke the single season receiving record for a Dallas Cowboy receiver, breaking the record owned by Michael Irving. As well, C.D. Lamb, massive game, massive performance, had that electric 92-yard touchdown in the first half. Was the reason why they won. Dak Prescott, 26 of 38, 345 yards, a couple of touchdowns. To be, on, to be honest with you, everybody, Mike McCarthy at the end of that fourth quarter, his game management, his clock management was downright trash. Dallas is so lucky that Detroit committed a penalty to bail them out because McCarthy's game management and clock management was downright garbage and it nearly blew the game for Dallas. Throwing the football three times, an incomplete pass on one of them, sparing Detroit a timeout, which gave them the time to get down the field to get the touchdown in the first place. So the Cowboys are counting those lucky stars that they got on their helmets because McCarthy's goofy clock management nearly lost it for them anyway. This game had it all. Massive Cowboys fan Canton, his nerves and blood pressure still like 180 over 140 right now. But the Cowboys get it done, everybody. And thank you so much for watching our reaction to the game as well as the post-game press conferences for Mike McCarthy, Dak Prescott, Dan Campbell, and Jared Goff. Friends, make sure to like the video. 
subscribe to the channel. We'll be live on Sunday, Week 17, Steelers and the Seahawks, as well as keeping our eye on other post-game footage in the National Football League. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel. We'll have more coverage for you. Week 17 in the NFL.